Hi Donna from Posture Plus. I'm going to quickly run through what were the teaching principles behind the program and then each week moving forward there's going to be a detailed video of each um, video article that will be up on YouTube. So number one is um, daily movement practice. We're advocating um, doing some mobility in the morning, juice up the joints, breakfast for the body, I like to call it, and elongate in the evening with um, stretching, chi ball release, myofascial release. So we prepare for their day and then we repair in the evening. Our second one is the sensation of progress, um, a term coined by the fact that teaching people who have been in pain and had serious injuries, recovering from surgeries and things like that, the, the, the very fine line between those pains where there's injury and, and recovery needed and the sensations that the brain puts into the pain bucket. So we um, call it the sensation of progress. That'll probably be a very long video, that one. <laughs> Getting getting on the floor daily, doing the daily eight daily. Part of uh, part one, which is the daily movement practice, but specifically the daily eights, as the name suggests, is uh, to be done daily. And since starting the program back in 2001, we've evolved the daily eights to um, seven versions. And we're, we're coming up with a new, this is the old class booklet, that um, some of my old participants still use and love. They call it the recipe book. We had originally three. When was this printed? This was printed, I think, in 2006. Yeah, 2006. Uh, there was originally three. And uh, we're putting together a new book. I'm thinking I might do it like a little indexed book because there's seven versions. So we'll, we'll see the new version of that come out this year. Um, and yeah, you could do one version of the eight each day and your week's covered. Part four is attention and intention. So tuning in and turning in to your body. What are you trying to do and how are you doing it? That is a big part of the program, um, very much. Um, the next point, mindful practice. So we're big on What's the exercise? Why are you doing the exercise? What's your, what are you trying to achieve? Where should you feel it? And um, what are you trying to do within, within that exercise? So there's a lot of detail behind the what, why, where, and where. Part six is uh, about being directive with the body. So the body will do what you tell it. And we play with the nervous system a lot in the program. And we are just looking for some subtle but very significant changes at every step of the way. And then by the time you're finished either that exercise, that class, that term, the changes are uh, magnificent. So uh, point six is yeah, being directive to the body. Seven is uh, being nice to the body. So even though we're pushing and challenging things and a lot of the time the physiological range is um, way off compared to the anatomical range that's available and we've got to chip away at the emotional content, the scar tissue and all that sort of thing, which is the physiological range to get to the anatomical range. So being nice to your body is, is, is teaching you how to play and do that dance. Uh, seven, eight, less is more uh, with perfect practice. Yes, being precise and not just going through the motions and following along and not thinking about things. That's where we go back to point five of being mindful and point four, having attention and intention. They are all interspersed continually, but I've broken them down to because these, these phrases come out during class. So less is more, and it's better to do three or five really good 
repetitions than to do 10 or 12 because you've always done 10 or 12 and mentally you're not done unless you've done 10 or 12. But if your body's done, you need to listen to your body and, and not cheat because we want to have good, precise performance each time. Uh, explore and extend. So this is to have you, you know, really craving excellence for your own body. Um, yeah, that's a nice way of putting it, actually. So what is possible? What is possible for your body? You know what you can do. You know what you've always done. But what's possible? What can you do even as you get older? Um, so exploring and extending and um, going beyond what your nervous system and what your mind um, says is your capacity. Efficiency and silence. This is 10 out of the 12. Efficiency and silence. So when we're switched on and aware of what we're doing, We've, we've got tone in our body and we're actually lighter. So we want to be like a ninja and be silent with what we're doing and move with grace and fluidity. And that comes from um, being connected to the body and switching everything on, but also knowing when to let go and how to relax at the same time. There's a lot of dualities. There's a lot of yin-yang within this as well. 11 is uh, shake the stress away. We specifically play with neurological drills and um, ways to calm the nervous system and not because it's the, the latest trend of 2023. We've been doing this since this, the program started. We've um, played with a lot of um, techniques because the program is designed for people who are in pain and that nervous system is on guard and we're learning to dial that back and quieten that down so it's not triggered um, so easily and also strongly as well. And the last one is to fulfill your capacity. So similar to explore and extend, number nine, but extend um, yourself and, and really desire that fluid physicality rather than unconsciously plodding along and doing things is being mindful in the movement. And that leads it back to that, you know, grace and fluidity. So there'll be a little article piece and a longer, much expanded explanation of, of all 12 um, coming up on both Facebook and YouTube and the website and all that sort of thing. So you can find it in many places. Um, Basically, we want people to really appreciate that movement is not an inconvenience. Um, there's many layers to it. There's many ways of approaching it and there's many styles. So, you know, one of the teachers is, um, one of my teachers would say there's no wrong movement. It's just movement that is done poorly or at the inappropriate time for the person. So much to think about. We've got much to share. We look forward to sharing with it, with sharing it with you. <laughs> and I'm going to stop talking because I'm um, getting my words tied. Thank you for listening, and we'll speak soon.